become very interested in flaws in design, particularly because design is seen as the ultimate kind of perfection and the kind of uh, statement and manifestation of our superiority over, over the animal. I was actually uh, born upstate New York to Korean immigrants who came over in the late 50s and early 60s with the understanding that they would go back and rebuild their country. They didn't go back. They didn't go back. I initially studied science following parents, not only wishes, but you know, what I grew up with. And even as scientists, they still had a lot of cultural beliefs and a lot of kind of, they clung to certain old ways. They would come back from a trip to Korea, and the house would just stink because they had smuggled back all these mushrooms illegally, steeping tea for, you know, weeks, and then back into the genetics lab to do electrophoresis. Coyotes are typically individual. For me to group them in the art gallery was to go against their nature. When I made the coyotes, I wanted to make sure that that representation wasn't mistaken for something permanent. And so those coyotes were made in plasticine so that they could be balled back up and recycled. I'm trying to work in concert with nature's design. These improved racks are just a way of recreating balance. As I go along, I kind of make them more symmetrical. So that kind of imposition of gesture, cutting them, for me as a way of interacting with the natural design. Nature doesn't really exist, arguably, unless we get to it and project on it. But if we turn our back, it can still kill you. <laughs> 